three, two, one. What's up? This is the first episode of uh, Deep in the Game. My name is RJ Kuro, and I'll be your host. <laughs> and today we have a very special guest, actor, host, model, and all-around beautiful man. His name is Nathan Owens. Round of applause for Nathan Owens. Uh, yeah, we're here rocking out with you over at uh, Seldom Seen in Hayes Valley in San Francisco. Big shouts to Tasha and Daniel mm, oh. for giving us the space. Um, that's right. Mm, mm, fresh. Lace. <clears throat> um, cheers, bro. Yeah, yes. cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Doing the whiskey thing. Uh-huh. Today, you? Okay. Uh-huh. Trying to get all of it out of me. Yeah. See? I get it. That's right. We got loose and yeah, we want to. I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, bro, we're going in. Let's what's go. new, man? Let's what's go. new? Uh, what's new? Um, you know what, man? First off, Happy New Year to everyone out there. It's 2018. That's right. Lunar New Year coming. Lunar New Year. Year. <laughs> um, but um, what's new? Honestly, man, I feel like this year is a really good year yeah. for me. Um, I've coined it 2018. I saw that. I actually saw that on Instagram. Yeah, that's deep, bro. How often does that happen? Yeah, 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 I know, right? I was like, you know what? This, I'm going to do it now because I'm not going to have this opportunity. 2018. Yeah. Hashtag, we're f- hashtag it. Yeah, hashtag 2018. Because I missed that on the 2008. I can't do 2008. Oh, yeah, I didn't yeah. do 2008. Yeah, I, can't do that. I just went, I wasn't there yet. Yeah. Career. Yeah. No, um, it's very good, man. It started off with a bang. I've been working a lot, doing a lot of modeling and auditioning okay. right now. I'm with, um, I'm a Paradigm Talent Agency nice. in, in LA, which has yeah. really been really been keeping me busy. And then um, flying around a lot for you know this, that, and the other. Um, I got a commercial coming up with uh, Izod filming in Lake Tahoe. Nice. It's uh-oh, nice. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, but unfortunately I missed the Super Bowl, so I don't get to see uh-huh. that. But I guess you know, <laughs> it's all good. The Niners aren't there anyway, so who cares? Um, here's a random ass question. I've always wondered what. What, what is your actual ethnicity? Okay. Uh, this, is a joke. this is actually a great, great question, and I'll tell you why. Yeah. So, uh, I did my Ancestry.com, my genetic... I don't know. I don't know. How'd that go, bro? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is, act, this is very interesting. So, I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm curious what I am. Like, yeah. We just want to see the lineage of my family. So, I did the whole testing, and um, results came back. It uh-huh. said that I was um, like 8% Scandinavian. 32% Eastern European, uh-huh. uh, like 20% Congolese. Cong- oh, damn. Congo. Okay. <laughs> Congo, yeah. And then 40%, 40% West African, basically. Mm-hmm. And some other things, right? And I was like, oh, this is cool. I showed my family. They're like, I, we didn't know we were Eastern European. And I'm like, oh, that's amazing. That, that, that all kind of settled down. And then like two or three weeks later, I got a call from a lady who was asking me questions about my great grandparents. And I'm uh-huh. like, oh, um, these are, these are weird questions, I don't trust yeah, this lady, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hang up, so she calls back, calls back, she's like, trust me, this is all good, whatever, whatever. I forward her on to my mom, because my mom likes talking about this yeah, type of yeah. stuff, so. Princess Diana. Yeah, yeah Princess, Princess Diana. Diana. That's my yeah. mom. <laughs> and then, um, she comes back to me and says, you know what, I just talked to this lady, and she, apparently, you have another sister out there that you didn't <gasps> know about. So, what? Wait, yeah. your mom said this? Wait a second. My mom talked to her and they started connecting the dots. Come wow. to find out, yeah, yeah, I had another sister. So this was all like, but it was supposed to be on a show where like they identify like, yeah, the, yeah. the genetics and who your brother is and yeah. whatever it is. And like, I was supposed to go on it, but I was taken aback by it. It was a bit overwhelming. It was, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I don't want to do this all on TV. It's too yeah. much. I know my dad and, and her, went to, her went to um film it and they did the whole thing. And then I got in touch with her, you know, sidebar situation. Yeah. And then she met up with my family and I up in um, Roseville uh-huh. and on uh, Halloween, actually. For the oh, first so time. recent, like really recent? Yeah, last, yeah. Oh, damn. That, that's kind of amazing. I'm, I'm actually glad I asked that question. That yeah, was yeah, a I simple too. transition yeah. question, but now, congrats. I, I, hope, I hope you get a chance to meet and uh, see where things go, but... We met, um, and now we're still oh, working like, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. so it did happen. Like, like, uh, like I said, on Halloween. So yeah. we're just kind of like working that whole situation so out. So you're consistently like planning for Yeah, she only lives like about 10, 15 minutes from my sister in law. Oh, so you're good. Yeah. So, yeah. good. so you get Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, you get Starbucks. Yeah. Starbucks, <laughs> drop that brand right there. Yeah. There you go. Or Pete's. Or, you know, or Phil's. Yeah. Whatever. You're Anything doing. that'll give us free shit. Yeah. We'll drop whatever the fuck you want. We'll take uh, your brand for a ride. <laughs> so let's talk to some people about. 
about Nate as we know him. Like, I seriously want to talk about how you got into it. Yeah. Because even I don't know the story. Okay. Okay. So, I'd love to tell you. How about that? I'll tell you very much. <laughs> so, um, this all started, I was actually working in corporate America okay. for Verizon Wireless. How many brands have we plugged, by the way? That's it, like, since it started, at least 12. We're going to have a little count. On that. <laughs> um, so I was working for them, and I wasn't, I wasn't the happiest camper there. And yeah. my sister suggested maybe I should try something like modeling. Uh-huh. And for me, I grew up playing sports, and that yeah. was never something yeah, I yeah. ever thought about. And she was like, just submit some damn photos to yeah. Ford. Here. Oh, Ford. Here, yeah. And when they were, uh, Good for you. Man. Yeah, and so I had submitted That's it. That was a while ago, though. That was 2000. Early to January 2007. Yeah, because they haven't been mm. This has been a minute, man. <laughs> Damn. And uh, so they contacted me about two weeks later uh-huh. and they were like, hey, can you come to the office and meet with one of our the main agents? Yeah. I went in, I had this terrible mustache, like horrible mustache. It was the worst <laughs> grooming. It was like a pencil thin but not consistent. Cue the photo from Instagram. I can find one for you yeah. guys, trust me. And uh, that's the first thing the agent said. He was like, we're going to have to get rid of yeah. that. <laughs> I was like, damn, man. Man, I've been working all my life for this. It's like 17 hairs. Like, uh, hey. uh, so he was like, you know, uh, we're interested in taking you on. Um, nice. Are you ready? And I was like, I don't know what ready means, yeah. but let's do it. Already starts with shaving your mustache. Yeah, yeah. I was like, cool. Sounds good. So then we but did that. Did it sound like they had a plan for you, or were they like, eh, we need to, we need a groom, quote unquote, groom? No, no, no. So the whole, well, at least the process, as, as they explained it to me, was um, we're gonna take some, we want to get some, some different test shots of you, and uh-huh. like, you know, in order yeah. to pitch you to different clients and so on and so yeah. forth, like casual, fun, business, whatever yeah. it may be, right? And then. Um, we're gonna pitch you out to some of the clients here in town, which at the time were Macy's yep. and Mervyn's back when they were here. Yeah. And uh, I got in with Mervyn's pretty well, yeah. <clears throat> and Macy's as well, and um, and started here. And yeah. then the major thing that catapulted me was mm-hmm. I got booked on a Bruce Weber job for one of the Abercrombie, uh, Abercrombie companies called mm-hmm. Rule, and they shot in Brooklyn, and uh-huh. it was my first time in New York, in 2000, October 2007. Oh, damn. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. it was like, boom, boom, Things boom. Started, well, in. the first six, seven months, yeah. I was broke AF, yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. wait but when you say broke, I mean, I mean, I mean like... Really? I mean, I was living in SAC, okay. and I was here at the time. Well, I was jumping between here, San Francisco and SAC, uh-huh. and I would go the longest way because I didn't have money for the oh. toll. <laughs> for the toll! <laughs> hey, we're there. You and I both, dude. Oh. I'm like, but then I didn't have the gas money. Yeah. Really. I'm like, which one is it? What are we going to pay for gas or toll? <laughs> What are the other? Is that all we can yeah, Exactly, yeah. and there's no lunch involved. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. just Holy. dodging parking meters. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah. It was it was a grind. Yeah, and yeah. so I uh, got that job. Moved, I went out to New York, and I fell in love with New York. Man, yeah. I was like enamored yeah. in New York as you are. And uh, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna move. And so January 2008, I moved to New York, uh-huh. <clears throat> and then started pounding that pavement out there, which was. A whole new ball. It's game. a different type of ball. It's yeah. a whole yeah. new ball. Game. Yeah. You never sleep in. You don't. <laughs> you the don't. moment you step, and this is also the reason why I love it so much, because yeah. the moment you step out the door, it's like you're flooded with people's yeah. ambitions and energy, yeah. and like you know, like as soon as you leave, you better be ready for the day, yeah. or else they're gonna swallow you. It's gonna, it's yeah, you know. So special riding the train. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Better get up for the old people. Shit to do, yeah. and they're doing it. Yeah. So, um, and that's the place where things happen. So yeah. I was like, if I'm gonna do this. I need to be here. And nice. so, sure enough, I did that. I lived there for about six months and then got my first hosting, hosting gig at, um, at a company under NBC called First Look. Yes. Yeah. Yes, First yeah. Look. That, first that, Look. Oh, I, my God. We were doing some research. Don't. That was one of the... Oh <laughs> <laughs> hey, your hair... Hey, you should bring back the hair. Just oh, no. And the hair is nice. Hey, I wish I had a better barber, guys. <laughs> Why didn't any barber tap me on the shoulder back then and go, like, yo, man, hey, I got this wonderful fade for you, honey. <laughs> I don't know if they speak like that in New York. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's actually that's like a pimp bar. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a French hey, uh, West Coast. Out, right? <laughs> we don't think it was nice fade. Yeah, 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 I saw that. I saw that online, and um, yeah. there, there were a few things. Um, I don't know if it's the same show, but you, you were also kind of a host for a fitness I think yeah, that was the same. It was, it was the thing. same type of thing. So, um, but it wasn't. That was just one segment that we did. Mm-hmm. But basically, the whole premise of it was, um, and this is what brought me to LA. Okay. Because the New York market was taken care of. They already had um, a guy out there that was like covering that whole okay. like, first look in New York, and I was a little bit pissed about that because my whole I went through the whole process at Thirty Rock actually. I had like an on-camera meeting yeah. and all these things, interview. And, 
And um, the reason she actually hired me on is just the way I explained in New York. And I explained it the way I just did. Yeah, just super inspired. Inspired. Yeah. 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 And she was just like, this kid got some charisma or whatever it yeah. was. And she's like, New York's not open, but LA is. Will you be willing to move? So I'm like, you know what? Let's yeah. go for the ride, man. And um, I'm like, yeah, let's move. Yeah. And I moved to LA. So I moved And how old are you at this time? 23. Okay, 23, yeah. already living in New York, yeah, yeah. about to make the move to LA, mm -hmm. which ironically isn't that far from home. Right. So right. in perspective, so there was, yeah, 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 while I was in New York, my yeah. family was like, we miss you. Yeah, yeah. But shout out to my sister because yeah. she's the absolute best. She would always text me these like inspiring quotes. Uh huh. Or like you just keep pre, encouraging me. Pre Instagram. Pre Instagram. Right? Yeah. yeah. So she, she was actually had Graham. Yeah, she yeah. was for her brother that she loved. Shouts. Shouts. Yeah, Anissa. Yeah. Love you, Anissa. Um, and she would always just keep me like inspired because it gets pretty. It gets pretty overwhelming and like it's daunting and it, it's you're yeah. far away from home. So there's a lot of different things. But it's one of the best times I ever had in my life. Was living in New York. Yeah, I'm. I'm come to think of it, I'm like trying to wonder what you did, like, because you know, obviously you went through uh, audition processes yeah. and, and meeting people, but you know, New York is a place where you could like come for one reason yeah. and fall in love with another thing. Were there any other like oh yeah where you could become like a jazz musician? That's funny. Too. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, yeah, yeah, because music is actually one of my other passions that m people uh -huh. may or may not know if they follow me, but um, yeah, I play guitar and. I Okay. Just okay, start playing, just saying a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, ironically, one of my inspirations um, uh, musically is is John Mayer, as far as his, his okay. ability to write, songwrite and play guitar. And I ran into him at a place called La Hacienda. He's huge. Yeah. He's a he's, he's a, a big, big guy. Man. He's, he's a six huge. four. Yeah, he has he has like a very big head. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I met him and I was like, his hand. His hand like, is way bigger than mine. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, just, a new yeah. bowl hand. Yeah. Anywho, uh, yeah. Yeah. so it was him and Pete Wentz, and they were having okay. They were having dinner in this okay. the under. There's like little speakeasy yeah. at La Esquina, and uh, my boys knew that like I'm a big fan of his, and like I was playing a lot of his songs. Yeah. Neon was one of them that I learned, and um, they're like, "Yeah, just go say hi." I'm like, "This dude's eating. I'm not gonna go." Yeah. yeah. But then I was, they were like, "Just fucking do it." <laughs> and I was like, "Peer right, pressure, bro." Yeah. Cuss. But I went and did it. And he was the nicest guy, yeah. man. He he literally was. He was like, oh, oh. He was open to just chatting with me, and I yeah. was like, you know, man, I don't want to bother you too long, too much, but I'm inspired by you know your songwriting and your yeah. ability to play. Uh, I play as well. And he's like, yeah, yeah. Neon was one of the first songs I learned how to play. He starts off like, oh, you know, play Neon. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> but it's all about metronomes, man. You got to work on your metronome yeah, and timing, and timing, yeah. and all that stuff. And then he goes on to talk about you know some other songs, and I'm like, you know, I, I also like. Part of life, um, he's like, I love that song, and he starts going with this little thing. He's like, na, 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 na. a real musician so is ready, he's at all ready times. At all, time. <laughs> all times, <laughs> and you know, in his fashion, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 the mouth is all over the place, and shit, <laughs> food like, flying out, <laughs> I was like, oh, jaw dropped. I was like, this is actually John yeah. here in his element. <laughs> wow. Wow. So we all like chopped it up and then yeah. we all got, they got up. We all walked out of the restaurant, shook hands. He's like, you should go home and practice, man. I was like, you know what, you're right. So John Mayer gave you the okay. And if John Mayer, you get a chance to see this, you know what I'm saying? He's here now. Right, This right. is, this is uh, 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 Nate 3.3. .3. Right. 3.4? 3.3. 3.3. 3.3. Yeah, yeah. You got to meet this guy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so now we're, now we're in LA and. Now we're in LA. I, I, I. I think this is where, definitely what I want to know, because this is when I met you. Um, right, yeah, yeah. And ironically, we actually met at a Macy's. Uh, That's right. Uh, with Glenn Moran, or yeah. uh, Macy's Passport. Passport, Passport. yeah, with uh, Charleston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, we met there. crazy. We met there, but here's what you don't know, and here's what the people out there need to, to also realize, too. Uh -oh. wow. um, as far as inspiration goes, like, I watched you on ABDC oh! with... Supreme Soul, <laughs> and these are all cats. Like we used to go to jams in San Jose. Like oh, I used yeah. to see you guys. Like we all used to do all these things back in the day. And uh, I was like, oh, these cats are on. Oh, we made it. it. Man, we made it between you guys and the John Walkies. We used yeah. to take it with them. Go yeah, to their yeah, shows. Yeah. And, sack. and I'm like, these cats are doing it, yeah. man. And I, that was a part of my inspiration to even get involved in this. I that's what made me think. Like you know what? Cheer I'm dead serious, no. I'm not I, had, I had no idea. Yeah. I had no idea. I was like, I. I can do it. I see these guys do this. Fuck mm -hmm. it. I can do this shit. 
And I was like, you know what? What's my vehicle to get there? And then that's yeah. what it was. So. Yeah, yeah, and and the ha <laughs> ha. Let me just react. Are you, are you blushing? Are you uh, blushing? Bro, I'm hella dark. You're the same so color you can't tell. <laughs> yeah. I'm hella dark already. You can't tell. Your face is still the color of that <laughs> hat, though. No. Bro, that means a lot. That means a lot. For sure, for sure. I mean that. Yeah. Ah uh, man. Ah. Uh, so. Yeah. With that said, um, you know what? What is it that we? Um, I mean, we see you do. I see you do a lot of things: acting, hosting, uh, modeling, and, and mm -hmm. uh, I've actually seen you dance. Hmm. I've seen you get down. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? What you, you're in this part of your career uh -huh. uh, where you've kind of experienced a lot is you know what do you what do you want? To you, you know what? I'm always asking. One thing is I'm always asking myself that question yeah. because I, I feel it. Like, yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. for real. Because I feel like um, I feel like I set some goals with modeling and I achieve those goals. Like one of them was to be on. Uh, it's kind of funny, but like. Be in Times Square on a billboard. D Gap, right? Yeah, it was Gap. Yeah. Dude, Gap was the first one. I, I think yeah. I think one thing that that you definitely you guys definitely don't know is every time I see this guy's face mm -hmm. anywhere, I always like take photo. I'm like, hey, bro, where you following me? I see this guy pictures <laughs> all the time. Yeah, like, yeah. like, bro, I'm at Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah. I only walk through because of you. Yeah. <laughs> and and I, I get that from from you and like Times Five hundred people. Dude, like, it's the funny ridiculous, ones bro. Are when they're like, yo, man, hey. Why you follow me? And it's like a pair of socks. They're like me, and it's like, hey, what's going on? Buy these socks. And I'm like, these are just, these socks, really? Like, yeah, of all places, I'm bro. I'm kind of like, I'm like, Haynes, get that shit. Yeah, you but uh, you those are the good ones. Times Square is amazing, by the way. That's that's been down in Times Square. I was like, okay, got that goal. And yeah. then I got my, uh, the other one was do a fragrance. And I did a fragrance for Ralph Lauren Polo. Um, and I was one of them, yeah. The God, bro. The yeah, God. so that made me feel like yeah. I achieved my goals. And then, by happenstance, I ran into um, a guy at an art show uh -huh. with my ex girlfriend, and he. I was just like chopping it up with yeah. the dude. He was like, "You know what, Megan? You're pretty funny. Like, what do you do for you know yeah. work or whatever?" Yeah. I was like, "You know, modeling, yeah. whatever, whatever." He's like, "Can I do charisma? Um, would you be interested in acting?" And I was like, "Okay, uh -huh. yeah, I mean, I'm down." He's like, "Let's switch. You know, exchange contact information. I'm about to go over to at the time was." What the heck is his name? Oh, I forgot. So he was going to go over to an agency and then we were going to meet up and yeah. he was going to get me in over there um, if he could. So that happened. A year later, uh -huh. whatever it was, he called me up and was like, hey man, come and meet with my uh, superiors here and yeah. see if we can get you in that acting role. To wow. Up. That happened. And then two months later, it was Days of Our Lives. Shut the <laughs> front door. I was a doctor, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Dr. Cameron Davis. You know what's funny? I've always wanted to ask you, mm -hmm. um, because uh, just to be frank, I've never seen an episode of Days of Our Lives. It's cool. My grandma shows me, or used to show me all of them. So it's okay. Like, yeah, yeah. So the whole, the whole thing. So just to be completely candid about it, I don't know too much about what you did on the show, but yeah, I supported cool. you, and I think I, I, I reposted a bunch. You of probably shit. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know what? I can't knock you for that. I can't knock you for that. Because <laughs> on the flip side of that, I have a bunch of family members and friends that I. I now there's still stuff on the show. I've been on in like four or five yeah. years, and they're like, "See what you did to me!" <laughs> now, now I can't stop, stop it. it. See, like so and so died. So and so's not there anymore. I'm like, wait, what are they gonna bring back? back? <laughs> and then I'm like, yo, how are they gonna bring you back? <laughs> Don't you wanna go back? I'm like, no. I mean, I think we're good. Yeah, and you, we you, go you, with like takes me. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's really interesting because I um I always assumed that um through the the modeling and through the just network of people in that. Lane, yeah. You just stumbled upon like acting. But yeah, yeah. It, it sounds like you know you really kind of leveraged um, your network right. outside of modeling. Yeah. And those are the little nuances that I feel like I want to know. Okay. Um, and it. so uh, if if there was, because ultimately we're thinking about like how you got here, right? And uh, what it is that you you do. Um, so you know, were there any instances or, or, or hints or moments just like that that led you to? Getting on uh, the other show, the Devious Maze, the Devious Maze one, because that I watched. Yeah, no, that was actually uh, <laughs> you, pretty. You fun had a show. solid ass role in that. It was pretty yeah. solid. It was pretty yeah. fun too. Um, you know what? Um, speaking to anybody out there that's striving to be whatever the hell you're yeah. striving to be, creatively or in any position, yeah. um, that you go through these lulls, these these ups and downs, uh -huh. as we all do. Of I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do this. Yeah. I don't think I can do that. And I was being plagued by that. Like I felt like this isn't. I can't do it. I can't do it. At so, a certain point, you start doubting yourself. Whether you're a business owner or creative, like whatever you're doing, yeah. Yeah. 
I feel like you always hit that roadblock where you doubt yourself and and then at some point for me at least it was almost like the universe showed me yeah that you know what man don't stop don't stop yet because I literally was gonna get out of the whole entertainment world I moved my stuff up to my family house no dead serious so yeah I was ready to quit everything because I hit that roadblock and I'm like you know what maybe I should you know pivot and go yeah. somewhere else and I'm, Sure enough, I had found myself back at this audition when I went to go get the rest of my stuff in LA. Last person there, yeah. went through the audition, felt good about it, but you tend to feel, you yeah. know, even if you feel good, you might never yeah. hear from them. Yeah, so, you, never know, you never know what they think. You never know what they think, exactly. Yeah. You could be too tall or not the right look, whatever it is. And so I just kind of thought nothing of it, of it after that, and then sure enough, they're like, wait, wait, they hit me back up. They want, they want to see you again. They want to see you again. Nice callback! And I, I was, you know, at the point at the time I was up there in my family's home, and yeah. I'm like, uh, okay, cool, let's make this work. And then, so you know, the process started. Next yeah. thing you know, I'm on camera auditioning in front of like executive producers, and oh. it was down to like me and another guy, and it's it's oh, so nerve wracking. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, the yeah. most auditioning sucks. Yeah. It's so nerve wracking. So, so, so see, everybody thinks it sucks. It's so. It's not just you. It's so hard. Guys like him. It's so also, hard. it sucks because you're going in there, you're trying to portray this character, and you got somebody reading like, you're like, I can't believe you did this. And I'm like, of course I did it. <laughs> and you're like, what? Give me something. Like, bro, I need something to re react off. Of, and they're bro. in the darkness yeah. too. You're you don't even like, know. Yeah. Wherever you are, <laughs> I I'll hate find you. you. You probably won't find me now. I am like three thousand miles away. Give me something. Come on, you know. So, Scream. Uh, yes. <laughs> So that's the tough part of it. But anyways, sure enough, um, I, I got on the show and then nice. sent me out to Atlanta yeah. and it brought me back into the world yeah. that I was ready to give up on. Yeah. So I lived in Atlanta for about four months out of the year for two years, yeah. two seasons with Devious Mage, which Devious Mage which was which was yeah. great. Yeah. And um, yeah, man. And then so now I'm back in the auditioning process. Nice. Nice. Uh, obviously, like modeling has been a pretty consistent thing yeah. for me. Uh, Just to give perspective and a yeah. bit of context, um, what year was this? Right before Devious Maids. That was Kitcher. So I got that January 2015. So 2014 oh, was a yeah. very, very tough, tough year. year. Yeah, yeah very, like, yeah. very tough year. I went yeah. through some. I'm talking like it was. It was. Yeah. Internal battles, external battles. There yeah. was a lot going on, man. There was yeah. a lot going on, and. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying that those those are those battles that like you you know regardless of how you um, express and voice to your friends no one will really ever get right they you know they don't get it until they go through a exactly. version of it yeah. and then you can kind of you know yeah. talk about it at some yeah. some length or whatnot but um for me I mean, since this is an interview and I've had what a couple of sips of this yeah I'm saying cheers cheers we are here guys we are here like 2014 was a really tough time. Uh -huh. And the reason being, I was, I mean, one major part of it was, man, I got, I got hit with some serious anxiety, dude. I got hit with that. Not to like down or it out or anything, but it, it was, it was debilitating at a certain point. And it really required me to kind of dig deep yeah. and, 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 you know, it's yeah. be tough, be tough and, and yeah. figure it out and ask some questions and answer some questions. Anyway. So the asking the questions part, because I know for a fact the people that we're trying to reach out to are for sure, for sure, um, afraid of this. Because they're, yeah, they're yeah. afraid of like, what if I don't make it? And exactly. or what if I just, what if it's not for me? Did I waste my time? Um, you know, it sounds like, and not to sound like very airy and out, you know, out there, it sounds like the universe was, was telling you to stay in it, to keep playing the game, keep, right, keep right. doing your thing. Um, right. But... Ahead, but I was just gonna say th there must have been a point where you like had to look at yourself maybe literally in the mirror right. and ask yourself like what the fuck am I doing? Of course. And so that of course. Like, what of is that? Course. So what's that like? Oh, what was that? Like? It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, the thing about it is it's um, it's it's sobering. It's humbling, yeah. Yeah. and it's it requires a certain amount of courage. Yeah. I think that a lot of us are afraid to. To embark yeah. on, and to I think yourself and when you have, like, when you're forced into that situation, like I believe I was, um, it, it was in the end. It obviously made me stronger. It sounds cliche. It made yeah. me stronger. And like, <laughs> it, it, that really does. Yeah. It is exactly what happens. But you start having to ask yourself these questions of yeah. who you are, what you're about, yeah. like all of these fundamental yeah. questions of your foundation. And, yeah. And and. and um, 
And it's a bit scary. It's a bit scary to dig a lot of stuff up. And especially in a place like LA, oh my where you are yeah. constantly under the microscope. Oh my <laughs> god, yeah. And then nowadays, everyone's semi under the microscope, at least with yeah. social media. So yeah. it's like, if you're not in a good place, it's, it's yeah. evident. Yeah. To yeah. Everyone people. sees and knows immediately. Right, right. Crazy. Whether what you, what you do or don't do, if you post a lot, if you don't post, like, somebody's going through something? Yeah. Yeah. Like, What's happening? It's, you can yeah. figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, you know, for, to, to that point, um, you know, a lot of people, especially the Nate Owens fan club, uh, a lot of people have asked specifically, okay. specifically asked uh, a few things, one of which is when you are, are preparing, when you're prepping for um, a shoot mm. and or some sort of scene, because it could be a commercial, it doesn't have to be printed. Um, what is the regimen? It, does it start oh. before? Is it a month before? Yeah, um, yeah. And, and, and what do you what do you eat? <laughs> I, I kind of try to hug the line of it's a lifestyle thing. So I, I tend to, I tend to. I've always been this way actually for for years, even before this. Yeah. I needed to go to the gym. I needed to yeah. like work out to get. I have a lot of energy as a person. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 I know you can relate. Yeah. I've seen you all day. That was my way of staying sane. Yeah. So then it just I honed in on it for for this like for the modeling yeah, world yeah. or for whatever it is and um, the regimen is essentially like when it's really when something have to take my shirt off I did a Rihanna video and I knew oh yeah California came yeah all day. I knew they were gonna take my shirt off I knew, yeah, obviously yeah. I was gonna have to live with <laughs> yeah, my shirt yeah, off you know yeah. what I'm saying <laughs> and be comfortable with yeah. it so in preparation for that it was just a mixture of just like I do a sh- a lot of cardio. Okay. <laughs> a lot of I run. I used to run like five, ten miles every other day, and then no uh, shit. Yeah, man. Tons of core exercises. I'm pretty insane. It's yeah. like a, it's like a, it's like a Rocky montage. Oh damn, Rocky, 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 Rocky Four. The best in one of all time. Rocky Four. Doing a lot of yeah. punches in the air for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost embarrassing because I'll be at the gym doing things and people look at me like this fucking yeah, guy. Who the fuck is this fucking yeah. guy? Yeah. This guy? Just because he looks like that model yeah. that's on Tommy Hilfiger ad, <laughs> just because he looks like him. Yeah. Do, 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 do people ever get that? Like, yeah, I he looks so familiar. Time, man. Yeah. All the time. It happened not just the other day, actually. I was. Uh, oh, yeah? <laughs> where at? Where is it? It's just, it happens everywhere, but one of the places I was at, I had a bit of a. I didn't feel well, so I went to the doctor and. Oh, shit. Yeah, one of the nurses was like. And then sure enough, it came out and she was like, devious mate. Well, we, we have another question. It's from yes. a, a very, very specific person out here in, uh, in the Bay. She okay. was by the name of Leilani, okay. who is an aspiring uh, actress model. Okay. She, is a, she is an actress model. Mm-hmm. Um, her question was, uh, you know, what is it, or if you could give advice, uh, advice to a person who is signed in the Bay Area, but also wants to work in LA, if you, give, if you could give a piece of advice for someone like that. Okay. What would it be? Um, you know, honestly, I would say, because this is exactly what I did, I just, oh, okay. you just go, honestly, go to that market, whatever the market is, if uh-huh. it's New York or if it's LA. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, you want to go with a book that's, you know, like a decent book. That yeah. means, book meaning like something to show them that's got, you know, variety, yeah. you, know, you, can, yeah. you know, whether it's dance casual just like yeah show a wide variety of what you can be or what you're capable yeah. of yeah. and then go literally go into those agencies because they're just as you are looking to make it in whatever you're looking to make it for they're looking to find new talent yeah all the yeah. time all the time the avenues obviously there's a lot more avenues now because of like social media and everything yeah like, marketing has changed it's changed dramatically. completely yeah. yeah so but they are still willing to, you know, they might be a certain day that they haven't come in. Like, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, you're on Monday? Okay, this happens on Wednesday. So come back Wednesday. But they're willing to take a look at it and then kind of go from there. And then at the same time, if, they, if you don't get that one, there's other, you know, there's other agencies in that market that would probably be better suited for you. Yeah. Too. So I'd say just go to that market, walk into those doors, or go online and see what the process is for submitting yourself yeah. there. And then just go through it. And then from there... Out of your hands, but yeah. at least you did it. Yeah, at least and you put it out there and you did your best. Right. Um, it's funny because there there are maybe two solid dance agencies in the Bay that um, that that cast people for certain things, and it's you know we don't have the same type of industry up here, obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Um, but the audition process is the exact same everywhere. It's it's nerve wracking. It's it's intimidating. 
Um, but one thing I, I share with some of my students and people, oh, can you do that? Yes, for you, man. Getting back to this, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, you know, most of the time casting agents and uh, even entire production teams don't really know what they want mm -hmm. until they see it. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really apparent in, in talent um, because the, the, the treatment may call for a dancer or a stunt double, but what does that actually mean? What right. type of dance, what type of, you know, whatever. Um, are there any similarities in modeling, in, even in acting? Is there? Yeah, no, of course. I, I feel like, like you said, they all kind of have a guideline of yeah. what they are looking for. Mm -hmm. But sometimes if something wa someone walks in the door with a different look yeah. or a different vibe or a different groove, yeah. that they're like, this is actually better suited for what yeah. we're talking about. They're willing to change that. Like, I wouldn't say, don't be overwhelmed or, you know, you know, distraught about not fitting into certain molds exactly yeah. the way yeah. that they want yeah. because those things are up for, you know, they'll change those in, yeah. at any point in time and sometimes it works in your advantage. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> and what, 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 what's, what's the time when it didn't happen? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of times. And that's something I definitely wanted to say, man. For every job I got, yeah. whether it's print, ad, um, host, uh, whatever, you know, acting, there was a, hundreds that I didn't get. So yeah. and then of course you would beat yourself up. I would try to act tough though. Like, no, I'm good. I don't need <laughs> shit, man. I don't need none of this. It, it wasn't meant for me, dog. It wasn't meant for me. I don't it wasn't need meant it. to be dog. As soon as everyone like turned around. <laughs> what are they doing? I mean, was it my <laughs> is it my hands? Are they not what you wanted? <laughs> <laughs> like Yeah. Exactly. His fingers are too fat. <laughs> really? Really? You know what I'm saying? That's so, crazy. Yeah. I I mean it's it's, it's it's the ultimate. Easy to beat yourself up. Yeah, yeah. It's it's the ultimate form of criticism, especially when you're like kind of in the dark, and sometimes literally in the dark. Yeah. Like, when there are people you can't see looking at you, <laughs> yeah, and right? judging and judging the shit yeah, out of you. Like, right. Eh, you're a lot darker in person. Right. Um, I guess one thing, one tidbit of information would be like, or something to yeah. hold on to would be, I mean, you're gonna do what you're gonna do in front of those those executive producers, whoever yeah. it is. Yeah. Don't. Just do you, it sounds so cliche, but just do exactly what you want and intended to do and try as hard as you can to use those nerves yeah. to benefit your performance or whatever it is um, rather than let it hinder you. Because at the end of the day, like it's up to them, you know, True. It's, True. it's in their hands, whether they want you or they don't want you. So try the best to use the nerves and, you know, who you are to to show that, let that, let, yeah. let that, you know, flourish in your yeah. audition or whatever it is. You know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, with that said, I believe that ultimately peace of mind, knowing that you did exactly like you just said, yeah. what you want to do and show who you are. Peace of mind is one of those things that you can't get from anywhere else. I agree. Right? Yeah, I agree. So putting it out there on the line, especially at auditions, um, is, is, is the key. Right? Yeah. And I want to add one real quick thing. Yeah. I don't know how quick it is, but one thing, <laughs> um, because social media is so prevalent now, yeah, and it's yeah. such a major part of our lives that people become, people see who are people that are succeeding, they see certain types, yeah. looks, and, and sometimes the like, same type of thing, they'll, they'll feel a bit inadequate, or mm -hmm. they feel like they can't, you know, yeah. match up to whatever that is, or this is. But make sure to just, Digital detox, you know, like block that out. Take it, take a step back from a lot of that stuff. Good one. And figure out who you are, what you're about, and don't be afraid to, you know, to express that. I keep, I want to keep reiterating that because, you know, don't get stuck in molds of yeah. what people think you should be. So you know, wrapping this up, kind of wrapping this yeah. up. Uh, we could where, talk forever, man. We could. <laughs> this, this is now, this is now a real friendship, not just a, not just a social media friendship. <laughs> Um, you know, what is it that we can uh, expect and see from you coming up? You know, what, what? Um, so, I mean, like I said, I'm doing, I'm, I feel like this is going to be a really good year as far as acting goes. As far as modeling, it's, always, it's been pretty consistent. Yeah. I'm very grateful. Yeah. Um, so I'd say, you know, I'm going to be hitting the pavement here. The pilot season comes, it's already started. Nice. So pilot season is when you know a lot of the networks pitch their mm -hmm. shows, and ideas, and ideas shows, and yeah. shows, and then you go out and audition for them and whatnot. So um, that started. Um, I'm going to be spending a lot more time in LA over the next few months. So oh, yeah. I'm going to be out there and in, in rooms, 
being nervous as fuck. <laughs> and you know, stumbling sometimes, <laughs> rumbling sometimes. No, but like seriously, sure. do like, I'm trying to stay as far away from that now. I'm past that. I, I get it. No, I'm no, trying I, to get past the shirt. I, I get oh. it. I get it. But I'll tell you this. Uh huh. As much as you would love to keep your shirt off, is the same yeah. amount of burning desire for me not to flip over kids in cars. <laughs> like that's what I get booked for. I swear to God, I get booked to flip over five kids or or, or a car. Exactly. It, it's like, like bro, oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, do that uh, flippy. Yeah. 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 So here's a concept that we've never done. This before. is out of this world. Okay, you've never heard. Let's of just it. spitball here. There's a car. Oh, I like where you're going. And we're gonna drive it. It's gonna drift in park. Okay. And you're gonna flip over. We're gonna flip over. Yeah, I like that. That's great. It, it's like, like and you're on the other side, like. It's like, so you, you can cut them off. You know what? Hold, hold on. How about I just... How about I... Fuck! Hey, hey, how about you just take your shirt off? <laughs> Let's just do that. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's you know so what? Great. Scrap the car. Yeah. Bring five kids. Bring five in. kids. I'm going to flip over all of them. We'll just do it. Okay. Yeah. Off the car. You know, I'm so glad that you yeah. actually brought that up because you never really know, right? You right, get, right. And, and I'm hesitant to use the term typecasted, but yeah. it's like you're... You, this is what you're known for. Right. So we know you're, you're going to be good at it. Just fucking do it. I know. But, you know, the creative element is like, you know, I Right. Um, There's a reason, like, for instance, well, first off, Instagram showed me exactly what people like. Oh, yeah. It was like top nine yeah. or whatever. Yeah. It's like yeah. all shirt, all shirt. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm seeing the pictures of my friends' photos. Yo, my mom, yo, yo, my mom, yo, Dr. Dre's soup, dog. Yo, my mom, Let me know, man. 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 Let me know, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm just interested in my history. Yeah, that's where we were born. Oh, we yeah. just turned 21. Oh, yeah. Down the hatch. Hey, bro. Oh, shit. All right, we gotta catch up. Oh, damn it. I just wanted to elaborate on the little point of inspiration. Uh, you can yeah. find your inspiration anywhere. Like, he didn't know that he actually inspired me. And another good friend of mine, J. Rowe, who's a dancer. Uh, He's actually right over there. He inspired me. Dominic. Uh, D. Trick. He inspired yeah. me as well, too. Um, so you can find inspirations anywhere, man. Yeah. I, I, like some of my inspirations would be anyone from fucking John Lewis, MLK, to Stephen Hawking and yeah. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Like he's a big one. That's he's too. huge. He's a freaking. He's a rock star. All that yeah. stuff is. It, you can yeah. find these inspirations in, in daily life too. Yeah. Man. You can find it at you know just the way someone stood up against something <laughs> at the fucking gym you went to. Like, it doesn't have to be somebody yeah. with this major legacy. Super profound. Right. Like, like, my mom and sister are a big. Uh, inspiration to me just because of their resilience, man. Yeah. They're tough. They're very tough women, and they um, and they they're resilient, and yeah. they're focused, and they're strong, and I love them, and they're good people. So um, you could find it in your family, you could find it in your friends, you could find it anywhere. And also, this is actually a resolution of mine. Okay. To give more compliments. So let people know. Give more compliments. Give more compliments. Good, good yeah. for you, bro. Gratitude is one of those Gratitude, things that. Yeah that we fail to realize makes mm -hmm. such a huge impact. Um, it changes you. It makes yeah. you, you start to develop more of a positive way of yeah. being. And it's definitely infectious too. Like when is, someone compliments yeah. you, you tend to find great things in other people. Exactly. Like, yeah, it's, a, it's such a crazy dynamic. We're humans. Right. We're made of stardust. We right. are, we are, we, we are all connected. Exactly. Um, so yeah, yeah. give more compliments. Tell okay. people they're good at this. Whatever, they feel good. People yeah. feel good about it. It'll come back to you. The universe has a way of working itself out. Um, okay, well, if there's anything else, you know, this would be the time. Otherwise, we're going to close up shop. Um, if you like podcasts, listen to Pod Save the World. Pod Save the World. Pod Save the World. Pod Save the People. Uh, Hidden Brain and Radio Lab. These are some of my favorites. I'd say get into more of those and stop watching people post photos. Uh, <laughs> I hate to say it because we're on Instagram and I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey bro, we all gotta connect. We do. Okay. We we do. Gotta I'm sorry. I'm just it's it's a it's a bittersweet relationship. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's all good. Nate, yeah. yes. my man, thank okay. you for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Appreciate yeah, no doubt. This was again deep in the game. I'm your host, RJ Cool Raul. This was Nate Owens, the man, the myth, the legend. And we are out. Thanks. Yo, props to uh, Shelton McCallan for not sponsoring this. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yes. Oh. It's a big show. Yeah. Trust me, we drink it. Obviously. Yeah, we drink. That was the half. I, I